Hello and welcome to our Getting Started series with Oracle Linux Automation Manager. This series intends to cover the various benefits and features of this product. Before we dive into these topics, one of the first things we'll want to do is install it. So let's get started. Installing Oracle Linux Automation Manager requires an Oracle Linux 8 system. For this particular installation, we'll connect to a newly deployed instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure using a private virtual cloud network or VCN. The private VCN is not a requirement for installation. However, it does add another layer of security and further prevents direct access to our system from the public internet. Once connected, install the Oracle Linux Automation Manager repository. We can either use the package name provided in the documentation or look up the package name to complete this step. To look up the package name, query the list of packages using sudo space dnf space list space single quote star release dash el open bracket 78 close bracket star single quote. Oracle Linux uses the release dash el version naming convention for all repository related packages. From the output listed, we'll use the Oracle Linux dash automation dash manager dash release dash el8 dot x86 underscore 64 package. Install the package by typing sudo space dnf space install space dash y space oracle linux dash automation dash manager dash release dash el8. Once installed, then enable this repository using sudo space dnf space config dash manager space dash dash enable space ol8 underscore automation. Now, we'll query our enabled repositories using sudo space dnf space repo list space dash dash enabled and ola underscore automation is shown in the list. With the repository installed, we'll set up our firewall rules. Since Oracle Linux Automation Manager uses the Nginx web server, we'll need to access that service. Grant access to the HTTP and HTTPS services on ports 80 and 443 by running sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash add dash service equals http space dash dash permanent and sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash add dash service equals https space dash dash permanent. We're now ready to install the Oracle Linux Automation Manager package since both of those commands succeeded. Install the package by running sudo space dnf space install space ol dash automation dash manager. Review the list of packages and dependencies to be installed. These dependencies include the Nginx, PostgreSQL, and Redis module streams. Accept the list of packages and modules by typing Y. We'll skip ahead as the install may take a while to complete. With our software packages installed, we'll complete the rest of the installation tasks. First, open the forward slash etsy forward slash redis.com file with vi using sudo. Search for an existing entry containing Unix socket and Unix socket perm. On a fresh install such as ours, the entries found contain commented out examples. Below those examples, add the new entries Unix socket space forward slash var forward slash run forward slash redis forward slash redis dot sock and unix socket perm space 775. Once entered, save and close the file. Next, we'll pre-set up the database by running the supplied in its script. Do that by typing sudo space forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash ol dash automation dash manager forward slash ol dash automation dash manager dash db dash init dot sh. The script shows a few lines of output that indicate the database pre-setup is complete. In our next steps, we'll prepare the software deployment as the AWX user. Start by switching to the AWX user by typing sudo space su space dash l space AWX space dash s space forward slash bin forward slash bash, and then initialize the database with AWX dash manage space migrate. This command takes a while, so we'll skip ahead. Once the database is initialized, we create our admin user account with awx manage space create super user space dash dash username space admin space dash dash email and your email address. 
For this installation, we're using a sample email of admin at example.com. When running, the command will prompt us to enter and confirm our admin user's password. Remember this password as we'll need it later during the login step. Providing our passwords match, the admin user is created successfully. Next, we preload sample data into the database using awx-manage space create underscore preload underscore data. Then, provision our instance with awx-manage space provision underscore instance space dash dash hostname equals and the IP address of our server. And register a queue name with awx-manage space register underscore queue space dash dash queue name equals tower space dash dash hostname equals and the IP address of our server. Finish this step by leaving the AWX shell by typing exit. With the software deployed, we'll then configure Nginx, which requires a couple tasks. The first is generating an SSL certificate. If this was a production system, we recommend using an actual CA signed certificate. Since we're installing a demo system, we'll use and create a self-signed certificate with the command shown. While generating the certificate, we're asked to enter several pieces of information. As this is a demo, we'll accept the defaults by hitting enter on each line. For more information on working with SSL certificates, check out the Managing Certificates and Public Key Infrastructure section in the Oracle Linux documentation. The second task is to modify the Nginx default configuration. The change shown here is based on us only using our Nginx installation for Oracle Linux Automation Manager. Customizing the nginx.conf for systems with existing nginx deployments is outside the scope of this video. Open the configuration by typing sudo space vi space forward slash etsy forward slash nginx forward slash nginx.conf. Remove the contents and replace them with the configuration shown. The configuration shown was copied from the installing section of the Oracle Linux Automation Manager documentation. Save and close the file. That completes the necessary Nginx configuration changes. Next, set the configuration variable cluster underscore host underscore ID to the IP address of our server by opening the main settings file. Type sudo space vi space forward slash etsy forward slash tower forward slash settings dot py and search for the cluster underscore host underscore ID line. Make the change and then save and close the file. Lastly, we'll start and enable the Oracle Linux Automation Manager service by running sudo space systemctl space enable space dash dash now space ol dash automation dash manager dot service. Check that the service is active by running sudo space systemctl space status space ol dash automation dash manager dot service. With the service running, our installation is complete. We can now access the newly installed server using our desktop browser. Since the system is on a private VCN, create an SSH local tunnel between the desktop on port 8444 and the Nginx web server on localhost 443. Opening a browser and connecting to https colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8444, we're greeted with a security warning due to the self-signed certificate. Click Advanced, and then Accept. After accepting the browser's security warning, we are shown the Oracle Linux Automation Manager login prompt. Enter the username admin and the password chosen during install. Click the Sign In button. That's it. We have successfully installed Oracle Linux Automation Manager. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out future videos in this series. For additional information on Oracle Linux Automation Manager, access the Oracle Linux documentation or Oracle Linux Learning Library.